Hello folks and welcome back to Master of Orion Impossible Bromance with the 5X Ultimate Balance mod. I am Mal and I'm here again with my buddy Sabouts. Hello my friend. Hello Mal. It's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when we left off, I was uh, uh, going to risk taking us to war by going and forward settling those ocean planets in Raiden, or Raiden which I'm going to do. Uh, and you... Or what? You were... What were you doing with the squid guys? What were you doing? Well, while I go here, and I want to update my graphics real quick. Um, what I was doing, actually, was... I was kind of scouting out their area. I've actually got scouts moving. Uh, I've got two scouts now moving through the area. I'm trying to get a feel for where their borders are. I think oh, that's okay. going to be probably one of the more important things. Is to feel out their borders. That's going to give me a good idea of where I can kind of move about. And where I can expect to be attacked. Um, if I do get attacked, I would imagine if I get attacked, it's going to be coming from uh, Fovia. Fovia there. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Because there, it looks like they've got Misha, Nortes. I see kind of an area where they don't have uh, anything set up. I'm, I'm also looking maybe on where I might want to expand too. Is there anything decent... Well, you know what you could do? You could take wild. Harkus. You could well, yeah, or you could take wilder. Because there's a there's a toxic oh. world there. Okay, but I don't even think I see wilder. It's you have a scout, I think, headed there. Okay, it's, that would it's be. It's galactic south of Hercus. Okay, yeah, I have a scout on its way there now. There is a toxic. Hold on, there's three planets there. One is large did radiated already, ridge. Did you already next turn? I didn't, but I can. Oh, okay. No, you're good. I just wasn't sure. Um, but there's a toxic medium, but it's rich and it has red fungus. So it does have plus two food. So even though it's toxic, it is rich. So you'd be able to build there quickly. And you already have hydroponic farms, right? I do. Yeah. Well, so you could take wilder. It would be a decent planet. And then it would give you a strategic, a strategic point to, to militarize because, you know, that's that's all connected up like wilder and then opus those two those two systems basically if they were locked off then that whole empire is trapped okay so yeah that's that's a good idea i like the way you're thinking new ship design discovered really what did i just get did i just finish oh destroyer tech okay <laughs> i was like what yes what did i just get uh, destroyers okay I've got Destroyer Tech 2, I just haven't built one yet, but I'd really like to get one out there. I'm going to design one real quick, so it's going to take me just a second before I go to the next turn. Let's see, let's get rid of that. Increase the defenses a little bit. Um, bu -bu -bu. I thought we had Merculite, we don't have Merculite missiles yet, huh? Mm. Um, no, we do not. Okay. Molecular, uh, molecular manipulation. That's what we need. That also gives us the atmosphere renewer, which we're probably going to want to go for yeah. at some point. Yeah, truth. Let's see. Well, we only have electronic computer for weapon accuracy, which pretty much sucks. I'm going to load up on... I'm just going to load up on missile, missile tech, because it's usually pretty good in the early game, and a bunch of point defense. So you think we need the advanced electronic computer? Uh, It wouldn't hurt, but what I'm saying is that like neutron blasters, I think a lot of people in the early game will go for that, but I don't think it's really worth it. So I'm just going to do a bunch of laser point defense with missiles, which gives this destroyer 16 attack and 47 de defense. That's not too bad. That is not too shabby. That's actually really good. Yeah, it's pretty solid. And since we're not, since we don't have tactical combat because we're playing in multiplayer, we might as well. Something else you might want to look at: your frigates, by default, I think have augmented engine special on them. Um, I'm gonna remove them from my frigates because I want the space for more weapons. And if if you if you have a special like that on it, it changes your not only does it change your combat speed, it changes your like strategic map speed. And you're always going to move at the at the speed of the slowest ship. So even if you had faster frigates and then you put a destroyer with it that doesn't have that, you're going to travel at the destroyer speed. Okay. So just a little... Nope, that's good to know. Just a little tip for anybody watching there. Let me get rid of that. I'm almost done. 
No, oh, you're good. I'm going through and messing around with my frigates and whatnot now. I didn't even realize there was different designs and stuff for it, so I'm checking, changing up the designs and the themes. There's rolls. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I like design B. I'm going with that. That looks cool. Yeah. So the I've got laser cannons. I've got neutron blasters and some missiles. So what I did on mine, I went with um, point defense lasers, right? So I selected that mod, which makes it a weaker weapon, but makes it 360 for the purposes of shooting down enemy missiles. And then I yep. gave myself four nuclear missile launchers on the frigate and then on the destroyer I went with one neutron beam front facing only eight nuclear missile launchers and 13 laser cannon point defense oh but I have okay. no bombs damn it okay hold on I gotta yeah, change that you need a, at least need a one of these of yeah at least one of these is gonna carry bombs a lot of times what I do actually you know what I'm gonna do especially since we're playing without tactical combat I am I'm actually, actually gonna build just a pirates. ship we don't do we really need bombs uh if you want to soften up if you want to soften up the enemy yes um but i'm gonna leave them off for now if i decide i need a bomber i'm gonna make a ship that's just carrying bombs yeah that's a good idea um i think that taking the bombs off is actually a good idea because it's going to give us that early jump we need in firepower to keep the enemy off our back because as soon as they whiff any weakness from us that's it they're going to be on us like yeah that's why i'm trying to crank up my ship production because one of the quickest ways for us to invite them to attack us is to not have our command points filled. Like right now I'm only six of 15. That's a problem. Yeah. Like they're, they're especially on really high difficulty and we're on impossible. They, they will come for us. Oh, speaking of pirates, I was talking to um, Spud, the developer who's been super responsive to our questions and requests and whatnot. I, we, you know, we had talked about how we're not playing with pirates and that the reason we decided not to is that in our practice run, they were showing up even in the mid game. So I guess he checked some settings and he normally doesn't play with pirates. Uh, but he said that by default, they're, they stay around till like th turn 350. And he altered that to be uh, much lower. So I guess in the next version of the mod 2.2.2, the pirates will change. So we might want to check that out the next time just to see what, I agree. what it is. Yeah. It's definitely something we'll have to jump in and take a look at. Whoa. Wormhole pop out. Oh, right down there, huh? All right. <clears throat> Not wild about that wormhole being in my backyard. Yeah, that's going to be... Boy, that's going to be kind of weird. I mean, I guess good in a way. I mean, we're definitely going to make it work. You know, I guess for moving ships down there to, when we go to war, it'll be somewhat helpful, but... I think I've said this before, that swings both ways. Makes me nervous, man. It makes me nervous. Exactly. I mean, I don't blame you. Oh boy. Okay. Ancient ruins discovered. All right. I wasn't sure if it was going to be something crazy like enemy builds first capital ship. <laughs> yeah, no. <I> like, please, <laughs> please, no. <laughs> you have. Ten's a lot. I got a leader, but 10. He wants 10 for salary. That's a lot. That is a lot. What's he offering, for though? Game. He's offering 10% production bonus, 10% morale, and 10% spy experience rate. He's offering 10% morale? Yep. That's effect. Yeah. I Yeah. And, a pr and production? I would definitely pay for that. Really? You think it's worth it? Oh, yeah. 10. Be 10 yeah. Absolutely. He'll pay for himself. And remember, he'll also gain experience, so he'll get better over time. Okay, I'll assign him then to my home planet. Maybe. I mean, that is a lot for a leader, but... I mean, I is that for maintenance or the initial price? That's for maintenance. Whew, yeah, that is, that's pricey. 
Let me throw him on a planet, see how he does. If it ends up not being too great, I'll, uh, I'll figure something else out. Let me see how he does to a planet, though. I'll come back and check on him once he's assigned. Because if it's not worth it, I can always dump him, right? You can. Yeah, you just go to leaders yeah. and dismiss him. So, I'll eat the cost of having him, the original cost of purchasing him, which is 30 credits, but... Yeah, see, the leader I have gives plus 10 food, uh, but he only costs 3 salary, so, yeah, 10 is yeah. a lot. But he's also, in plus 10 protection, plus 10 morale is pretty significant. Yeah, 10%. Yeah, 10% production, 10% morale. Whoa, jeez. The League now controls 5 planets. What? Yep. Are you serious? Yeah, they've already got 5. That's what I'm saying. We got to... We gotta step it up, is what we gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta step it up, and we gotta go to war with one of these guys. Probably by turn 100, we gotta go to war with one of these guys and reduce them to ash. Because if we don't, they'll run out. They're gonna, they're gonna run away from us. Yeah, they need to be... Oh, boy. I really would love to see one of them fight... I'd like to see them fight each other. I would too. The problem is that in terms of the positioning, they're far enough away from each other not to have any border friction. That's a problem. Yeah, it is a problem. Well, they're only going to have border friction with us then. So what we need to do is, once we get Xeno relations, we need to try to make really nice with one of them. And then like we talked about before, group up and beat up the other. Hmm. Well, you know them best. Which one do you think is more likely to... I want to get buddy buddy with us um probably the nolum because they're they're trader based like their whole their whole thing is built around intergalactic trade, trade. yeah so we okay. might be able to if my ford settling over here doesn't piss them off too much we might be able to be buddy buddy with them and then focus on the squid guys the tr trillarians okay i think that's gonna have to be the plan then that's something else too. I was uh, uh, I was reading about the mod. I, I guess in the next version, Spud's planning to make uh, even more AI changes. And there and like in Master of Orion two, which was kind of cool. Remember how certain races it didn't really matter. Like they just hated this other race. Like there was like a there was a racial bias. They just didn't like a particular empire. Yes. So I guess he's going to go in and add that. That there's going to be more of a bias depending on you know like. Um, the humans in the Marshan or what have you might just by default pretty much hate each other that kind of thing which I thought was kind of cool oh that's kind of neat yeah I'm surprised that's not actually a thing to be honest with you well like we talked about there was unfortunately a lot of things that the devs just I don't think it's I, I really the more I think about it I don't think it's that the devs didn't want to do that stuff the clock ran out is, is my impression like it didn't do as well financially I guess as Wargaming wanted it to do and I think the clock just ran out on NGD, the studio that was, you know, working on Moo, to do anything they, else with it. Yeah, are they doing anything now, or...? I... I don't know is the answer. The one person that, um, that I used to talk to, um, that was on the development team for Master of Orion is no longer there. So... I... I don't know is the answer. Hmm. I mean, I guess we can hope that they're going to continue to do stuff with it. The The last patch was back in December of 2016. Um, and we haven't really heard hide nor hair from NGD or Wargaming about anything Futurescape for Master of Orion. There was an announcement that the guy that was in charge of that section got moved over to the mobile platform side of Wargaming. Now, what that, uh. you know... Master of Ryan didn't do that well, then that guy gets moved. You know, I don't know. Um, but 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 I do know there doesn't seem to be anything coming down the pipe, which means I mean, the Master of Ryan's in the hands of the modders. Yeah, like most games nowadays, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> most not, I guess, AAA games. Although, would you call Master of Ryan a AAA game? I guess it kind of is to an extent. I think it was a AAA... Um, I think it aspired to be a AAA title. I don't think it got a AAA budget. And I think a lot of the budget got spent on things that, while are nice, don't get me wrong. I think the game looks really, uh, really, you know, it's a really pretty game, right? The 
the art direction and the styling. I think it's a very visually, it's a, it's a good looking game. And they spent a ton of money, I would imagine, on voice acting because the voice acting cast for this game was phenomenal. Yep. But I think, as much as I like, you know, um, Mark Hamill, I think he's amazing. I would have preferred that they had spent more money on the gameplay elements of the game versus having, you know, star voice actors. I would agree with that. Yep, I think that makes sense. They did have some pretty nice voice actors come in, though. Oh, is it? If, yeah, I've actually got a list of the voice actors in the description of every video. The the voice cast for this game is amazing. There's no doubt about it. It's just, you know, it's just again. I think that um, I think the money could have been, you know, if the budget was going to end up being limited, right? Which all budgets ultimately are. Then I just don't know that I would have allocated it that way. Yeah, and that makes sense. That's understandable. Like, I would have liked to have seen tactical combat in multiplayer. You know? I think I finally ran into the... Yep. The Nolams? Yep. Rich cow people. Great. (laughs) I played as them actually in the last series that I did, they're actually yeah. pretty fun to play as because you want to talk about not having money problems. You make a couple deals with the other empires and even though they're kind of sluggish on production versus some of the other empires, it really didn't matter because you'd just, you know, be like, oh, I need a new cruiser. I'll just buy one. Boop. And it was like no big deal. Yeah, really just purchasing whatever you want. Just purchasing much. whatever. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, that's not bad at all. I'm trying to get, like, more military ships pumped out now. I'm at 10 of 20 on my... Which seems to be helping, actually. Got a lot of scouts, by the way, right now. The Trillarians, they are scouting the hell out of me. Are they? Yeah. Uh Well, see what you've got. Then again, I just went to their home system and I'm scouting them, so I guess it's only fair. All right, I'm gonna start getting some mil. You got any military stations set up yet? I have. Uh, let me see. I don't actually. I don't think I have any military outposts set up yet. I have star okay. bases though. So like, none of my all of my colonies already have a star base. Okay, I don't. Yeah. I haven't built any star bases yet, but I need to. But I am working on my military, getting my ships built, and I'm working on. I'm going to be working on getting some military stations up at these borders. I'm going to get us right next to the Trilli- uh tr- what are they the Trillian? Trillarians, yeah. Trillarians, okay. Yeah, I'm getting some ships set up right outside their border. So I am the okay. Or now I don't want to spend that much. I'm doing a sp- I'm actually building a space factory right now, my first one. And I just wanted to get because unless they bring a really big fleet, a star base, especially in this mod, can actually hold hold its own. So I just wanted to make sure that these colonies had that defense. Plus, I wanted the command points before I started cranking out uh, military outposts. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, I need to work on getting the... Oh, wait, hold on. Do I have it? Do I have that tech already? What? No. Which, we need the Xeno relations, right? For what? Diplomacy. Yeah, we can't do diplomacy until we get that, yeah. Okay. That's why I was saying we need to wrap up whatever we're currently researching and we need to go back to get, you know. You're working on government right now, right? Yeah, I'm almost done. How many turns? Two. Okay. So as soon as you're done with that, um, let me know how long it's going to take you to get Xeno Relations, and then I'll switch so that we both get it at the same time. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, 
Oh, he's offering me a an embassy. Which I guess I'll accept and take his embassy. The Noam? Yeah, I can't. I can't well, get an embassy yet, but I'll do this just to improve our relationship. Yeah, we said that we were going to work on that, right? We're yeah, I think we, them. yeah, I think we try to befriend them and just keep and and even with the Trillarians, just don't do a non-aggression pack, but we could like once we can, we could try to do just, just do trade agreements with them until yeah. we're ready to go to war and then pounce on their face. I'm good with that. I think that's a good idea. Getting pollution. Okay. I'm managing to keep my pollution down so far. I did have to take some pollution to get a ship built really quickly, a colony ship, but now I'm... I don't have any pollution tech. Cutting back on it. And I've got one more turn till government. There we go, government. Okay, and how long for Xeno Relations for you? Xeno Relations is going to take... It says 28 turns. That put, won't take that. It put, won't take that long because I'm going to. You going to put some people on research? Yeah. Yep. So now 21 turns and I'll put more people on research. Uh, once I get, I'm still moving people around here and there. Okay. Um, but My right population's now. a little low. I'm making do with, <laughs> I'm making, I'm making a lot with a little. Okay, what I'll do then is I'll finish biotech, which is going to take me four turns. Then I'll switch to okay. Xeno Relations, which is going to take oh, yeah. me 12. Yeah, that's fine. And then by then I'll have more science-y things going on anyways. That's the other reason why I don't have any military outposts. is because I um, anywhere I could throw down a research lab, I did. Because my, my guys have a penalty to research by pop. So I was like, well, I'm going to have to get there through buildings. So I just started slamming research um, labs right away. Yeah, okay. I actually went ahead and just uh, th started throwing up a military uh, outpost right outside the... What system is that? Fovia? Or Favia? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see uh, you building I, it, yeah. Yep. Oh, I've so you Opus. did. You took Opus, okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, I went it's, ahead a, crappy, and it. it's a crappy, crappy planet, but I agree with your decision that based on... Strategically, that's a smart play. Like you take that, and then you take Wilder, and you can just lock that guy behind a wall. Yep, and that's the plan. I, I don't want to. I wanted to take that so I could get military outposts built there, and because then that allows me to guard just Opus instead of having to guard uh, Sabius and uh, Rahab. Right, right. And you could just stack so. a fleet on top of that military outpost when you're done and he won't he shouldn't be able to get through it exactly actually i'll still have to guard rahab from the wormhole side but at least i won't have to guard it from the opus side too right but then the only person that's coming through that wormhole in theory unless he takes the long way down there which i guess he could i see I that think thing's so far away from them it's not optimal in terms of travel i don't know if they'll use it or not it's hard to say i don't think that they really will. I mean, they certainly have the option. I'm just, yeah, I'm just thinking I don't think they will either. But I'm going to fortify my warp point leading to that wormhole. I can tell you that. In Inganok or whatever, I'm going to put a military outpost facing that wormhole for sure. Plant's definitely not a good production planet, but I do get 10 credits for owning it, and that makes a difference. Oh, gyms provide 10 credits now? Is that what yep. it was? Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah, it makes a big difference, so I'll, I'll go ahead and take it for that reason. And you buy a couple of, like, later on when we've got the bigger production buildings, like neutron colliders and... Yeah, Robo I can kind of balance like that. that yeah, out. you can kind of make it where it doesn't suck, so it, it's not that big a deal. It's just the starting part that's hard, right? Yeah, Hitting exactly. Hitting it off the ground that's, is the pain. That's what it is. But I'm starting to get everything kind of rolling, so I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, military's in a good spot, too. 
I mean, we're looking pretty good right now. The yeah, Nolan, we're okay. Oh, oh my god, the Nolan. Need to hurry up and get Xeno relations. Yeah, before we have a problem. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, we want to keep all these episodes about the same length of time, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Again, the plan is to release these every day at noon Eastern U.S. time. So hopefully you continue to join us for this. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, he is about. I'm Mal, and we'll see you later. Bye.